In 1837, the small English town of Crewe would gain a train station when the Grand Junction Railway was built. Over the following century, the town would thrive as Crewe would grow into one of the biggest railway junctions in England. Here, several rail lines would converge, along with being the site of several notable engineering works. One part of this system is Salop Goods Junction, which is located just southwest of Crewe Station. Built around 1901, it connected the Welsh Marshes Line to the West Coast Main Line, and as its name suggests, it was for the use of goods trains. The line would change hands several times over the years, coming into British Railways ownerships in 1948, who would still be in control of the line in 1980. On the 7th of November 1980, two goods trains were heading towards Salop Goods Junction. The first of these was the 055AM Moss End to Seven Tunnel Junction goods train, designated 6 Victor 93. This train consisted of six empty 100 ton Class B tankers being hauled by a Class 87 locomotive, number 87009. The second train was the 1210 Guidebridge to Baston Hill goods train designated 6 Juliet 41. This train consisted of seven empty engineering department wagons known as Sea Lions, being hauled by a Class 47 diesel locomotive number 47190. Just before midday, 6 Victor 93 arrived at Salop Goods Junction on the up Liverpool line. Its journey had not been a good one. Locomotive 87009 had died along the way and it was being pulled into Salop Junction by Class 40 locomotive number 40196. After waiting at the junction for a short time, the train was brought up to signal 34. Here, it waited for 25 minutes while the line ahead was being cleared before the dead locomotive was detached and towed away. A second Class 47 diesel, number 47247, was brought in to take over and was backing up to the tankers. While this was happening, 6 Juliet 41 arrived at Salop Junction from the Manchester Upline, coming to a stand at Signal 42. Then the signal displayed two lights and the letter C. This told the driver that he could now enter the section ahead, but under caution, as there was another train in that section. What happened next is a little confused but according to driver G.E. Lee of the locomotive 47247, as he was approaching the tanker wagons, he saw 6 Juliet 41 come around the corner towards the tankers. He stopped his locomotive immediately and saw the rearmost tanker topple over as 6 Juliet 41 rammed into the back of it at around 27 miles per hour. Driver Lee then moved up and instructed the guard to run to an adjacent phone and summon the emergency services as well as halt all traffic in the section. Driver Lee then made his way to the site of the collision, where he discovered that locomotive 47190's cab had been crushed by the impact. It was soon cleared that the driver, George Schofield, had been killed upon impact. Guard Ramesh Kohan had received severe head injuries and would die soon afterwards. The driver's assistant, Nigel Hebblethwaite, suffered serious injuries to his legs but would survive the accident. A report into the collision by Major P. Oliver was published in May of 1983. In his conclusion, he stated that the signalling at Salop Junction in general, and at Signal 42 in particular, were working correctly and showing the correct signals. The cause of the accident was driver error but he was unable to understand why. George Schofield was described as a professional driver who had experience on this line, and it was hard to explain how he could make such errors. While it was acknowledged by Heberway that he was in deep conversation with the guard in the moments leading up to the crash, he insisted that the driver did not take part and was focused on the line ahead. In short, no definitive answer into driver Schofield's actions have been found. Locomotive number 47190 was repaired and put back into service in 1982, running until 1994 when she was withdrawn and scrapped in Rotherham in 1998. 